Today, we're gonna be living like YouTubers for the next 24 hours. Behind me is a wall of 100 YouTubers that we're gonna be picking at random. And with each paper that we pull, there's a task correlating to that YouTuber worth a certain amount of points. Here's the scoreboard, and the first person to 100 wins. Where's my competition? Oh. There he is. I slept him last time, by the way. You must think you're him, huh? Never said that, but yes, I do. May the better YouTuber win. Let's pick the first numbers of the day. I always start with my GOAT, 24. Hey, you have to. Come on. I think I'm gonna go with 99. Damn, okay, kind of like oh, Juice World. That's why, you got the Juice World shirt on. I feel like it just makes sense, 999. Oh no, Gideon. No. Get a haircut at the mall for 11 points. You're lying. Hey, but it is worth 11 points, so it's worth it. With 99? Oh, we didn't get a high amount, but we got Jake Paul for five points. FaceTime a YouTuber and challenge them to a boxing match. That's so easy. Wait, we should get going. This is a race to 100. Oh, 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 okay, okay. So funny enough, I actually have the perfect opponent for me, but I don't have his number. His name's Ryan Toyerview. If someone can get in contact with them, really do just want to get in a ring with that kid. But I do have someone more my age, so let's give him a call. He goes by the name of Brandon William, fitness YouTuber. I want a challenge. Come on, answer. Bro, you're looking small. What are you talking about? <laughs> Wait, are you boxing right now? No, we're filming like a body shot video. Taking body shots, really serious. Bro, I was just calling to say, bro, I feel like you would be a good opponent for me in the ring. Me? Yeah, yeah. Bro, that would actually be kind of fun, I'm down. You know what, just get back to your body shot challenge, do what you gotta do, I'll see you in the ring, whatever date you want, all right? Okay, sounds good. Bro. All right, simple as that, bro. Live on the board, you can't see me? You can't see me? All right guys, we got my boy Laz here. Instead of getting the cut in the middle of the mall, we thought it'd be funny to do it in the elevator. What do you think? Let's do it, bro. <laughs> bro, you gotta get me right. Come on, look at my hair. We gotta set up in here real quick. Oh, we're being called up, here we go. So how long you been cutting hair for? I've been cutting hair for like four years now, bro. Oh, first stop. Oh, come on in. What kind of hair are we gonna be doing today, bro? Honestly, whatever you think, bro. What floor you wanna go to? Three? Okay, sorry. <laughs> oh, that's the same one. That's number two. Okay. <laughs> Come on in, guys. How you doing? Good, how are you? It looks crisp, by the way. It looks good. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> Yo! Come on in. Come on in. We got the best barber in town, Laz. Hey. Take care, guys. Oh, yeah, man. Hey, all right. Task complete. I think I got my 11 points. We earned it. I'm feeling 63. Oh, Jimmy darts for nine points. Ask a stranger if they want to take $100 for themselves or give $500 to someone else. Let's do some good deeds. Excuse me, bro. Would you rather have $100 or $500 to someone random? I'll take $100. All right. <laughs> you, bro. All right, bro. Hey, man, he chose a selfish route. We'll see what that does for him in the future. All right, got my fresh cut. Now, let's go right in the middle. 50. What do we got here? Hope Scope. Hey, underrated YouTuber right here. For 12 points, have someone create you a $500 mystery box and then surprise them with it. Banger. All right, guys, we got $500 and we got the mystery box. Let's go. Hey! I'm so hot, I need a fan on. Hi. It's a YouTuber. Nice to meet you. Hey, I have a question. If I give you $500 to create a mystery box for me, can you do it? Yeah, sure. Sorry. Yeah? Here's the $500. Okay. I'm excited to see what you guys come up with. I'll see you guys soon. I'll be outside. So my favorite number is eight, but I can't reach that far. Let's double it. Go 88. Hey! Phase rug for 13 points. Bring the world's brightest flashlight to the haunted tunnel and walk a mile. <sighs> I'm going there alone. Here's a word from today's sponsor. The world is in danger and the only way to protect it is with Beast Lab. Our job here is to create the beast that can save the world. Let's activate the beast creator. Unscrew the lid at the top and then you pour water into it. This doesn't feel right in this outfit. That's more like it. And now you turn the heat dial up. Time to add our ingredients. First, fossil fragment. Whoa, it's fizzing. This is a tax serum. Yo, that's sick. Smoke is actually coming out. We're about to get a crazy beast from this. I feel it. Skin scrapings. We're getting closer. Number four is Roar Rocks, and it gives your beast a ferocious roar. For the final ingredient, we have a pandemonium crystal. I have to cap it. The alarm's going off. We're gonna pull this lever. Oh, the reveal. No way. Woo! got the mayhem mega shark this thing is a real beast let's activate the light up power crystal core there we go let's check out his power strike attack Ooh. you can 
reset the beast creator so you can do this over and over again. Parents, order beast lab while stocks last at Walmart, Target, and Amazon websites. We got the mystery box? No way. I'm so excited to see how you guys did. What was the total like for? 474. Oh, perfect. That's really close to 500. We see the basketball right here. Do you play basketball? Not really. No way. Oh, I freaking love Legos. Sour Patch, Skittles, Salsa Verde chips, $25 Starbucks gift card, some Oreos. Wait, he knows me so well. Dude, perfect. Uno cards, can't go wrong. A gaming headset. Oh wait, G Fuel. Two more Hot Wheels. And then last but not least, we gotta have that salsa dip. This is beautiful. This is a 10 out of 10. I do wanna say though, I want you guys to keep this mystery box. What? Okay, can I keep the Skittles? Yes. Yes. Okay, everything else, this is all yours. Not only did we get 12 points, but we got some Skittles, baby. Most importantly, <laughs> yo, Skittles, sponsor me. All right, current score update. I'm up by nine points. Let's freaking go. We're gonna go 17. Jesser, my boy. Okay, nine points. Have someone make an impossible trick shot for a prize. Okay, wish me luck. If I ever had to put myself in rug shoes, this would have to be it. I've came here many times before with him, but this is my first time going solo, so this is gonna be interesting. We have a dirty swamp with with probably a bunch of foreign substances. Let's make our way down. Simple as that. As I look down right now, it's pure darkness. This flashlight right here is super powerful. Let's see it. Damn. At least I know no one's in front of me. Mission complete. Let's go. What's up guys? One of you guys want this switch? Yeah. You have to make the shot from a far distance. All right. You're down? I'll give it to you right here. But if I make it, then I keep the switch. Ooh, okay, okay. Hey, you could join in. Oh! oh! <laughs> Ain't no way. Let's go, let's go. That's fire. Hey, that's oh all God. you. Thank you so much. Yeah, hell yeah, bro. Nine points added. Let's go. I think I'm gonna do this one for the one, the only Jackie Robinson. 42. David Dobrik. Man has been on a hiatus for a while. See him a lot on Snapchat now, but this is for eight points. Give someone a Tesla. It's in quotation, so I'm guessing not one of my own. I have a Tesla as well, so better be in the price range. In honor of David Dobrik, we actually drove a Tesla right here, as you guys can see. And alongside with that, we're gonna be giving one away to someone random that we actually see. All right, relax, relax. There's some kids right behind us. I think they would be the perfect fit. And I stole this from Rugs, so I hope he doesn't mind. You guys own a Tesla by chance? No, we don't. Would you like to? Uh, sure. You might have to pop the hood, do some work on it. We'll just put it in the car. All right. I don't know if it'll close like that. <laughs> there you go. All right, brother. Yeah, of course, man. Enjoy it. Sorry. All right, we're doing good on time. So let's see. Let's go just middle again. Logan Pool. For nine points, open Pokemon cards until you find a rare card. These are some that you just never know could take hours or you could open it on the first try. Let's just get right to it. Excuse me? I have a question. What would you consider a rare Pokemon card? Anything that's like shiny, basically. What are the chances I find them? In a pack, it's usually like one in 25. I need some Pokemon cards. Up by three points, we're looking amazing. 71. Ooh, air rack. 10 points, diamond test strangers until you find a liar. It's a scary subject, but it's his most popular video. We kind of have to. So I think you flip it, and then you put that one down. You just go one by one, and the last card should be the best one. That okay, that could be rare. Yeah. Oh, that's a good card. It is? Yeah. Wait, what? No way. It's a Raichu. That's like one of the best ones you could pull. You're lying. What? On the first pack, I called it. Let's go. Plus nine. First try. Hey, I should get an additional nine points for that. Come on. Task at hand. We have the diamond tester ready to go. <sighs> this scares a lot of people away. I'll tell you that. But I decided to pick the perfect person to do this to. What do you want? Do you know why I'm here? Yes, I know. Come on. <laughs> Give me a sec. Is this even real? Dude, that's a real PS5. You gotta get some stuff checked out over here, my boy. Listen, this one is like really real. Oh, okay. $250,000. You spent $250,000. Yeah, because I got the one that's cloaked okay. with a fake layer. It didn't come out real? No. Give me a second. Oh, is that, he, he was pranking me. All right, looks like Noah's doing pretty good, but I am still in the lead right now. 35's calling my name. PewDiePie, five points, hug a pug. 
the famous Bosley, the king of all pugs. I got to go hug him for an easy five points. Let's go. Really interesting how he's taking a little too long in that room, but you know, everything's cap here. You asked for it, you got it. You stacked them up. You wanted the fake one? Yeah. Test it out, this one right here. That's the fake one? Right here on the very top, so fake, bro. It's real. What? You thought I had fake stuff? Do you have anything else or is that just it? Bro, you don't need to see no more. At this point, I think I'm just gonna go myself. Bro, what the? Hey! All these are real? I mean, this is a big piece. This would be like $100,000 right here. That one was pretty pricey. I wonder why these are in the restroom, huh? Get out, disrespectful chump. Hey, we got what we needed though. You are, you're a punk. You're a chump little punk. That's what you guys are. There he is, a pug. I need to hug him. Oh. Hi, Bosley. I love you. Plus five points, baby. 46 to 45. It's looking really close. Let's go 85. Come on, man. We got Mr. Beast for 12 points. Had two people compete in a last to leave the circle challenge for $100. I'm low key a bad host, I'm not gonna lie, but I gotta get my Mr. Beast energy on. The last person to leave the circle wins $100. I know he does a lot of hand movements. All right, boys, it's nice to meet you. Our contestants right here, we got... Jacob Westerlin. We got Jacob Westerlin and... Dylan Peterson. Dylan Peterson. Hold on, we have to like do it the proper way. You guys can step in. They are officially in now. The first person that leaves is out for good. So, so how's it going? Weather's nice? Pretty good, pretty good. That was too easy, but now it looks like Noah can't reach the top row, but you know, I got hops. Number eight, Kobe, <gasps> my favorite YouTuber, Loaf. For 10 points, get three signatures for a fake petition. That's actually gonna be hard, bro. Yeah, man. Mm. Are you gonna crack? Thanks, so. You're th oh. that boys. You're thinking, oh. It's been about five hours, I need to go to Oh! We had some oh. self-sabotage. Can we get a replay on that? Oh my God. That was crazy. Are we gonna allow that? Like, is that is that fair? That's fair. You just won $100. How do you feel, man? You wanna go to Disneyland? Yeah, yeah. Like, what are you gonna spend the money on? Uh, probably, uh, I'm not sure. He's not sure. <laughs> there you are, man. You, bro. Hey, it. use it well. All right. I have a question. I have a petition and I wanted to see if you were interested in signing it. It's a petition to give dogs their own parking spaces. Okay. If you're walking your dog and you want to go in a store but no dogs are allowed, you can leave your dog outside in the parking space. Ooh, I, I didn't like it. Right? You know what? I'll do it. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. This is going to be easier than I thought. What's up? We're doing a petition. Can you tell him to sign the petition? No. What? I'm joking, I'm joking. Yes! I'm gonna wear my white suit. That's the third right there. Come on, face rug. I did this for my boy Loaf. We got three signatures and we got 10 more points. Let's keep it going. At this point, it's a back and forth battle, man. It's getting crazy. Let's go 26. Bro, what is, who taped these, bro? Oh, man. Mr. Street Fight himself. Bradley Martin for nine points. Challenge someone to a street fight and tell them that you're 260 pounds. It's pretty believable. Excuse me, bro. A no quick question. I'm 260. Do you think you could take me in a street fight? Nah, no way. I feel like you have somewhat of a chance. We we both are 260, right? I'd say. Yeah, basically. Way the same. Yeah. Should we run it? Nah. All right. All right. Peace out, bro. Peace out, bro. I can have I'm looking good, but let's see what else we got. Let's go from the very right, number 80. Oh my gosh. My guys, Sam and Colby. Eight points. Have a stranger tell you a real ghost story. Oh my gosh, I love people's ghost stories. This should be pretty easy. All right guys, we have to pull back up to the mall because there's a lot of people here. I'm sure one of them have encountered some real ghosts and have a crazy story to tell us all. What up? I don't want to interrupt your video. No, you're good. It's not an interruption. Hey, wait, quick question. Do you believe in ghosts? I think they're real. Has anything happened to you or no? Back then, my mom and uh, my sister like was in a apartment. She like heard a bunch of like screaming and stuff and like footsteps, so we had to stay with them. My older brother was little at the time. He got like touched and scratched and stuff. No way. Bro, that's insane. Hey, I've been scratched before. It's not fun, dude. Yeah. Hopefully you guys are doing good though. Take care. Oh, oh, there we go. That counted as a ghost story. That's an easy eight points right there. Let's go. We're winning this challenge easily, bro. I love these. So many to choose from. Let's go 92. Oh man, they did him dirty with the picture, but we got Kai Sinat for 10 points. And of course, get sturdy with five strangers for a TikTok. Hold on, oh, hey, 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 oh, hold on. I gotta practice a little bit, but let's go. 
Trying to get sturdy? You guys know how to get sturdy? Hey, hey, oh! You actually hit that. Okay, okay. Do you guys know how to get sturdy by chance? If you know, you know, I guess. I am very surprised Noah hasn't picked this number yet. 69. I figured, Mr. Danny Duncan, what do we got? Seven points, do the no it's not that prank at a drive-thru. Bro, that is the funniest thing of all time. If you don't know what he does, I'm about to show you right now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay, a little sturdiness, a little sturdiness. Bro, this one's gonna be so dumb. Let's see how long I can keep it going for. Hi, um, what are those things called? It's like, I think it has ice cream in it with, I think it's like scooped. No, it, it's not that. It's uh, it's like a certain type of ice cream and they like blend it up with uh, whipped cream, I think on the top. We have those and we call them milkshakes. No, I don't think it's that. Trust me, I saw it on TikTok the other day. Okay, well, we just have milkshakes, though. I think that might be it, then. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Okay, okay, okay. Can I do strawberry? Okay. That's it. All right, that's good. We'll see you at the window. All right, thank you. I think it was that one. There it is. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, All right thanks. Yep. Hey, we got the seven points. That's all that matters. Hmm, 11? That was epic for 11 points. Trade someone AirPods for their wired headphones. This guy always goes and cuts people's stuff off. I like giving back, so that's lit. Excuse me, ma'am. Can I trade you these for your wired headphones? What are those? AirPods. And you want to swap them out for this wired headset? Yeah. I mean, if you're gonna give me a free pair of like AirPods. Of course, that's basically what I'm trying to do. So we're doing it? Yeah, we're doing it. Thank you for the trade. But you know what? I'm gonna be a nice guy. You can keep both. Oh, thank you. <laughs> of course, enjoy the rest of your day. All right, you too. Of course. Hey. 11 points, baby. Put it up. All right, Um, so many to choose from. Let's go 45. I feel like I've had luck down the middle. Ah, my lovely brother, Broadis. What do we have here? 1v1 your brother, but you can't leave until you win. Damn, this one might actually take a while, bro. Me and Brandon go back and forth, but he definitely clears me in 1v1s. All right, we're here at Broadis' new court. Bro, you're not gonna be me. I don't know why, like, I don't know, bro. Just... Well, come on, listen, we're doing a 1v1 up to three. I'm in a rush to win, so I gotta try hard. Dude, I'm just saying it's gonna be nighttime by the time you actually beat me. <laughs> You can't miss. Brian, oh, two, two. Hey! So now we have to play again? Bro. Oh yeah. You heard the hoop? One oh. Give me that. All right, peace out bro. Add seven points. GG's, GG's, GG's. Let's go. Number 20. Whole face swag. No. For nine points, win a game of Warzone. This might be the one that takes me a minute. Ah, come on. Look at my skin. Come on. You don't want to run into me. There's people under me. Oh. Too easy. Oh, I hear someone. Oh. Cracked. Oh. Watch this guy. No way he's dropping on his stuff. Bro, what are you doing? I'll tell you Oh. oh, one. Oh, another. Oh. Oh. No way. No way. I just got that first game. Let's go. Dude, that was a hard task. I could have been sitting here for hours. Let's go for a quarter. 25. There you are. Jordan and Salish matter seven points walk across a balance beam. Bro, that's easy for me. I skateboarded when I was younger. Ooh, I already got it in me. I've never really tried this, but you know, I skateboarded in the past. I feel like I have somewhat good balance, but we're gonna put that to the test. Guys, it's a tie game, 87 to 87. I can't believe I still won on my first game. All I can hope for right now is the next paper I pull off the wall. If it's worth 13 points, I do this one task and I win. Let's go number 75, it's calling my name. Bobby Altoff, oh my gosh. Okay, five points should be easy. FaceTime your friend and have an awkward monotone conversation. So easy, come on. This is gonna be easy for me because I'm already an awkward person. What up? 
Hello, Govna. What are those things in your ears? Why aren't you responding? Why? Uh, Texas Emily Rose is in me. <laughs> what the? F Yo! I was just trying to have an awkward conversation with my cousin, but you made it way more awkward. <laughs> This dude started, this dude had a demon inside of him, bruh. All right, bro, you know what? Just get off my phone, get off my phone. <laughs> Yo, bro got possessed halfway through the call. Easiest five points of my life. Let's go. All right, guys, I just completed the easy one. It's 92 to 87. If I just get an eight pointer right now, I win. Uh, 39, come on, come on. Oh my gosh, eight points. Matt Stoney attempt the 60 second Happy Meal Challenge at McDonald's, let's go. Simple, man. Let's go bigger. Simple, man. Too easy. Yeah. Signing out. Hi. Oh, you wanna get a picture? Oh, don't cry, don't cry. All right, thank you guys. Yeah, you, you too. We can't forget about you. Damn, the love is real out here. That's what I do it for, bro. I'm stressing right now. It's too close for comfort. To secure the win, I have to go for a higher one. I just think five. Nick DiGiovanni, 12 points. Go to a Michelin star restaurant and order the most expensive item. That's easy, give me that. So Matt Stoney's known for the Happy Meal Challenge. That's one of his most viral videos, but he pretty much finishes fries, a burger, and a drink in less than a minute. And I'm not gonna lie, I think he did it in 15 seconds. So my objective though is less than a minute. This is gonna get ugly, okay? 40 seconds. What? 30 seconds. Ooh, whoa, huh? 15, 10. Oh, um, no. Mm -mm. That is tough, bro. How the hell did he do it in 15 seconds? All right, we gotta get home right now because this was the final challenge. If I make it home before Noah, I win the entire thing. I don't even know where he's at right now. Let's go, baby. I took the dub. It was so close. It's 100 to 94, so I'm assuming Noah's out on his last run. We gotta break the news to my boy. Come on. All right, we gotta tell Noah whatever he's doing, he has to drop it and come home right now. Yo. Yo, bro. What's good? Drop whatever you're doing. Why? Come on home, brother. We got a champ here. Oh my God. You were on your last one, right? Yes, I was on my way to a restaurant. Yes, bro. I beat him before he even got to the last task. Hey, bro, just come home. Just come home, all right? Bro, I'm making a U-turn right now. Let's go, baby. All right, I'll see you soon. See you soon, I guess. Yes. <laughs> all right, Noah just pulled up. <laughs> Listen, Bring it in, we both worked extremely hard today. It was a long you were day. so close, that means you killed it, bro. I'm happy for you. I'm happy with my performance, but I really thought I could come out with the win, but hey, you killed it, bro. It feels good, let's go, baby. Hey, everyone, make sure you hit that subscribe button. You know what? Leave down in the comment section below who your favorite YouTuber is in general. Better see a lot of Fizz Rocks, you know. This guy right here. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Hey, huge shout out to Noah. Make sure you click his link in the description, subscribe to him, and we'll see you all with the next video. Peace.